Mrs. Heather T. sitting there too. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Our MC for this afternoon will be all, uh, Deputy Chief Alvin Fiddler. And uh, we have a program, and the program is available to, that, to the left of us, to the left of me at the door there at the entrance. And we have our program there. And I will give the program to Alvin Fiddler. Thank you now.
journey from Santiago, like uh, the first nation over the last two weeks, uh, and they made it here. Uh, it's after it's gone to acknowledge them, and uh, uh, we have a bit of a, a program here uh, this afternoon to uh, uh, make our formal uh, welcome and, and acknowledgements uh, to them and to their efforts. Uh, we want to thank all of you. Thank you to DMC and NEC for uh, hosting this event, uh, for uh, opening up your school to uh, accommodate this uh, gathering. So uh, we have the executive director from NNEC, uh, Norma Kijik, here. Uh, Norma? I go Marga, I go Nigas Kumwats, Skunova Bugnet, Principal uh, Jonathan uh, Kankian. Uh, Jonathan is back there. Uh, Jonathan, no, yeah, uh, Jonathan is over there. I go Vice Principal uh, Sharon. Marga, Naga, I go Nigas Kumwats, Skunova Bugnet. So at this time, uh, I will ask uh, the principal, uh, one of our elders, one of our respected elders in uh, one of our communities to uh, say the opening prayer of Solomon Piri. Hey guys, good afternoon. Wagai Gavi Skanok, a Watashoe, the Yamsuke, the real Bart Manish Kazo, from Sashko Robert's mother, Robert Parkman's mother, Wagai Magam Toxic, the Pedogan Arms, where Kagi Kato is not a Madam, Kagi from Sashko, a bar to the Bartman. One of the worst son, a woman of the worst son, one of the worst son. We could. Monsieur Gashim's game, a very tough phenomenon, and I want everybody to stand. Thank 
I also acknowledge uh, that we are in a territory of uh, Fort William First Nation and I acknowledge uh, Chief uh, Peter Collins. Uh, I always take that time to uh, acknowledge where we are uh, and to acknowledge uh, their leadership, their membership, and to thank them for allowing us to, uh, uh, to gather here uh, in their uh, territory this afternoon. Amiwa, pagi ko si Dan Magod sa Maduskay ka ugenag ka gagip ng sewas sa Wisconsin. Amiw, kaya ito di sa pagi na guys sa nik, wala di gagip maso upan na sa school like April 7, around 7 a.m. That's when they started their journey, almost two weeks ago, from sa school like to Maswa Dam and and then to Round Lake. Uh, when they go like pick lake, Meskigagamag, uh, Solakot, and then down here to Thunder Bay. Uh, I think yesterday, uh, just outside of Thunder Bay, uh, they hit the uh, 1,000 or uh, the 1,000 kilometer mark, and then, uh, uh, I think in total they walked uh, just a little over 1,100 kilometers uh, over, the, over these last uh, 13 days. So we acknowledge them, and that's why we're here today to uh, celebrate the Thunder Bay. Kau cuma ada lagi kegunaan bagi nak some of the guests, some of the dignitaries that were that were asked to to come here and to acknowledge and welcome these walkers. So we thank them for being here. So we have a bit of a program for this afternoon. But sekarang yang buat semua kita semua kan? Ini mama buat ibad no cengkeh wis cengkeh ni wis kat dekai no their their tired from their from their walk over these last a couple of weeks. So we we have a bit of a program here, and I want to first call up to make his his comments, his welcoming comments from Fort William First Nation Chief Peter Collins. Come into the city to look for to get educated, and uh, you know it's been a it's tragedy that brings eyes and ears to people, uh, thoughts and uh, dreams. I guess uh, as we move forward, and the work and the journey that you embarked on and two weeks ago, man, my feet are already sore thinking about it. So you know, I, I, I'm sure you crossed some paths that weren't probably the easiest way. Uh, with the weather changing and uh, ice roads and all that stuff that gets all slushy during the day. And, you know, and now the long walk that you did and the path that you crossed. And, uh, in order to bring awareness to all of us and to fundraise for uh, uh, a safe living uh, facility here in the city, you know, and I, I think about this and I think about it a lot. Uh, maybe Fort Wayne can be a partner in, in helping to create that uh, safe home and safe living uh, experience that we all uh, cherish in our communities and uh, things that we can do together. So on behalf of the community I represent, I welcome you here. I commend the World Walkers for the walk danger and the journey they uh, embarked on. And I look forward to many more initiatives that we can work on together to create a healthy lifestyle for all of our kids, for all of our communities, and make sure their hopes and dreams are alive. I'd like to recognize the, the family of Daniel and, uh, you know, and the, the loss and the, the tragedy that they, they suffered. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of work that has to happen, and not only in the city, but also in our communities to create that healthy lifestyle and keep our families safe and keep your spirits and your dreams alive. So, on behalf of Fort William, I welcome you all here. And uh, I'm also the North Spirit Regional Branch here, so on behalf of the regional communities I represent, I also welcome you here, too. So, again, commend the walkers for the journey they uh, embarked on. Well, uh, we had a uh, 
Uh, there was a, a press event, a press conference earlier this afternoon at the Bala Land uh, when the walkers were making their way to, this, to the city. And uh, at that press conference, uh, we were joined by uh, the late uh, Daniel's parents, uh, Myra and Simon. I'm not sure if they're here. Monday, I'll go ahead and go ahead Myra and Simon. Okay, now I'm going to go to the press uh, conference. We're going to go to the press 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 conference. We just want to watch it. We need to get one more watch with Daniel. It's been good. Hey, we got to see what's going on this these last couple of weeks. It was a memory walk, but also it was a fundraiser to raise funds for the student residents here in Thunder Bay. And I know that there was a table that was being set up there to continue to collect pledges to support their efforts. I mean, I got it or not. Uh, from the uh, uh, representing the city of Thunder Bay, uh, uh, the mayor was invited, but unfortunately could not be here. Uh, but we have one of the council members here, uh, Frank Polia, to uh, come up and say a few words as well. Frank. Nagozadik, Oyagamak, 
for the support I give soon to the walkers, the, the, the food, the accommodations, the groceries that is provided by a number of First Nations and their uh, donations as well uh, to, towards the center and also to their, uh, to their uh, um, food, among other things, in their, in their walk as well. There are a number of companies that also uh, donated things for their usage as they uh, walk towards the, as they walk to, to Thunder Bay. So, as of April 7th at 7 o'clock, uh, in the early morning, it was in the early morning, uh, on the ice, uh, they walk about 24 kilometers of uh, slippery ice, I believe. But uh, and uh, that must have been a difficult journey. It's a long, a big lake, the Art Community, uh, the lake that stairs, uh, pretty, pretty long. It takes a while to cross that lake. So, so through that, as uh, they traveled here to Thunder Bay. And, then, and I want to create, and I want to say uh, on behalf of Chief and Cons and members of Saskatchewan First Nation, it is with great pride and appreciation that we mark the arrival of the journey of New Beginnings to achieve their destination in Thunder Bay. I indicated to the press release that uh, it is very inspiring that they have walked a thousand kilometers uh, together. And also, it is inspiring that they did it as a, as a memorial to Mr. Daniel from Quebec as well. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to do is to, to take this opportunity to remember Daniel and encourage each of you to remember his family and his friends and their loss and his fellow students. And uh, Daniel's passing was tragic, but from tragedy to tragedy, we must continue to look for a safe place for our students from the remote north, north to exactly the Bay. So, and uh, such a like first is recognize the efforts of the team. Robert Barkman, Barbara Barkman, Darlene Barkman, Sharon Barkman, Adam Beauty of Satchel and uh, Tyler Tate of Satchel Lake First Nation. Sherman Unak of Bearskin Lake First Nation. Terry Ann Goodman of Sandy Lake First Nation. Cassandra Cutfeet of Muscada First Nation and Tyson Madawabit of North Caribou. I'd like to uh, thank all these First Nations uh, that uh, young people to walk. So perhaps if we can give these uh, First Nations a hand, that would be nice. Thank you. Thank you. So to, to everybody, uh, thank you to, to all the First Nations and the organizers that have supported the journey since April 7, 2015. So we ask as Chief and Council and as committee members, to keep, uh, to continue to support the vision of having the FC Student Living Center become a reality. And if we get to I am uh, honored to be part of this, uh, part of this journey and, uh, and pushing forward to see and, uh, the young people that are pushing forward to keep the vision alive that to have this uh, living center that uh, is important to them and we must uh, honor them and help them because they are our future even though they are our future right now but they are they will move us forward to uh, to places that we don't know yet that we may become uh, uh, better uh, better communities and uh, and things that uh, the things that, are, that that will be coming up so they will be part of that so thank you very much and i would like to thank everybody my God, we try to cabbage not going to So I'm asking for more pledges. So thank you very much. Again, we've got the award to you. And uh, on behalf of that, we just want to acknowledge uh, the Committee of Satchel Lake, the leadership, the people of Sanyal or Satchel Lake for all the, the work and supporting the, the vision of other youth to, to create uh, uh, a safer place uh, here in uh, Thunder Bay for their high school students that do come here and uh, uh, to raise funds to build uh, this uh, student residence that, uh, uh, that, they, that they want uh, to be built here in Thunder Bay. So we thank them. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. At this time, I'll ask uh, the principal of DFC uh, Jonathan, Kagan.
I'd like to, to, to come up and uh, make some comments as well. It's a very special day. It's a very special day 
in the history of uh, Missionary Aske students and the lives of First Nations in Thunder Bay. Uh, I am very, I get encouraged all the time by students when uh, they take the initiative to do something that needs to be done. And this needs to be done. I'm especially proud of our students uh, that Satchiko to Thunder Bay is a thousand kilometers. That's a, that's a, that's a long ways. Uh, I don't think I've ever walked that far. Uh, but I'm, I'm especially proud of every one of them. And miigwech, miigwech ntak magalano dagwat. I'd like to say thank you to uh, to uh, Peter, Peter uh, Collins. Thank you to the consular uh, of Thunder Bay. What I want to say to Thunder Bay is, uh, Thunder Bay, uh, the greatest place to live in the world. And I want to say that again. This made Thunder Bay the greatest place to live in the world. In the world. And everyone, uh, when there are special events, you hear uh, the, the, the announcers, the MC, and special events. This is a special event. Amen. This is a special event, and I like to say, in the world, one more time. This make it, this make it a, a spotlight for for uh, our youth uh, to give them hope yes. for, uh, uh, the, as we know, the Canadian dream. That the Canadian dream that there is hope, yes. and and every step that they walk. I, I, I have a feeling that this every student that's going to come to Thunder Bay to get education. I've always been a supporter of education. I'm the highest supporter of education for our First Nations. And uh, you know, let's give them a hand again. You uh, did. You did. Let me know. Uh, I, uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the communities. All the communities for their support. Uh, I believe there's a uh, uh, Caribou, North Caribou Lake, uh, Muskrat Dam, Cat Lake, Bearskin Lake, and also uh, Satchmo Lake. Thank you very much, Satchmo Lake. And, uh, and also uh, Sandy Lake. <laughs> Sandy Lake. Uh, I want to say to the students, you know, I'm proud of you. This is a dream that you, you that you've taken on, and I'm a believer of dreams that it could happen. And what you've done, not only for yourself but the future students that come come to DFC and Thunder Bay. That's why it's going to be the greatest place to live in the world. Yeah. 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 I, I promise, I promise to my, uh, to my friend over there that I'll keep uh, my comments short. All right, thank you. Are you all senior Thank you. 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 You are just a little over in the last few minutes. I got to know how many people say you are with students. I got to give you so much of a scarcity. You got to say you are all the other communities that really provide their support and walk with these young people over the last couple of weeks. I want to give you a lot of money to my grandson and vaccination. Our grand chief, uh, RBS, no, but unfortunately, I don't think he's able to make it. Uh, so, just briefly on behalf of Dan, I just want to uh, again say thank you to uh, the young men and women sitting up here and all those that supported uh, uh, them and uh, their journey these last couple of weeks. I know there were some, some difficult uh, days, that, uh, there were some mornings, I know you had a hard time getting it, uh, including me through our thing. And uh, I was talking, uh, I had a chance to walk with them for a bit uh, the other weekend, uh, just north of Pink Lake, and I was, uh, you know, uh, you have blisters in your feet. That's why you think 
uh, painful, that's very difficult. And I was uh, telling the, the, one of the young men that uh, you have to walk through that. And when the blisters will go away, eventually you will have, you will develop calluses in your feet. And you'll become stronger uh, during the course of your walk. And I think that's what happened, not just uh, physically, but uh, I, I heard them talk about their own experiences uh, going to high school here in Thunder Bay, how difficult it was. And some of them are going to be coming back to Thunder Bay this fall. Uh, some for the first time, and uh, that's why we're here today, is to assure them that we will uh, do everything we can. Uh, as Chief Minkus uh, says, that we will make this a better place for them to go to, Nepal. Uh, not just here in BMC, but right throughout the city of Thunder Bay. And that's why we're here today. At this time, I'll ask uh, uh, from the Chiefs of Ontario, our regional chief, uh, Stan Beardy, to come up and make some comments as well. I have my bodyguard with me. He's only 12 years old. He's still growing, but I'm shrinking one or the other. We're not even. <laughs> First of all, uh, the reason I invited my, 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 my son here is that I lost my own boy. We had one child 10 years ago, Daniel Beardy. And we lost him 10 years ago to violence. He was murdered, he was killed. And what happens when a parent loses their child is that, you know, it, appear, it seems like everything turns upside down. It seems like somebody flicked the switch off. And when you lose a child like that, you expect something huge, some, somebody important or some, some big thing to happen to, to pull you through. When, I lost, when we lost our child, our only child, some little boy came to us. He was about three years old, almost three years old. And he said, we are, I'm here to help you. And at that time, I said to myself, how can a, a little kid help me with such pain of losing a child? Then I realize in our natural, in our natural form, we, we don't understand the workings of the Creator. So this, that boy that came to me 10 years ago is this boy here. And he's been with me for the last 10 years, myself and my wife. And he's been giving us a lot of support. I say that because we are here in memory of the most recent young person we lost, Daniel and I. His parents are here. And I share your pain with them. But we're also here because of the other young people that we've lost the last 10 years. And as I mentioned earlier, I lost my son 10 years ago. And the pain is just the same as it is if it happened yesterday. So it becomes critical, very important, that we continue to support the parents as well. For me, my supporter is right here. Anytime I need, I feel lonely, I feel hurt, you know, all I have to do is uh, talk to Daniel, not Daniel, but I call it, <laughs> bring him, and then uh, that healing comes back. So I just want to share that with you, you know, because uh, we're talking about parents that have lost their loved ones. The walk the young people did, 1,000 kilometers, many, many steps. The statement they make is very simple, and that is they want education. They want education. But that education they're asking for, they want assurance of safety. When you look at the World Index today, Living Index, Canada is roughly around number five. First Nations are around 63. 63 is third world conditions. Third world conditions is Reno, Max, many basic human rights, basic qualities. It lacks clean drink and water, it lacks employment, it lacks access to healthcare. 
And that's what those young people want to address in their own lives. For them to close that gap from six to three to number five, they realize that it's only through education that they can improve the quality of life for themselves, for their communities, for our people. Some of you are familiar with what they call seven fires prophecies. Seven fires talks about eras. The seven fire prophecies were given to our people in Schnabek long before the Europeans arrived. The Creator touched our people and said, I'll show you what you can expect looking into the future. And those prophecies are, are called seven fires. It started off with colonization. It talks about residential school. It talks about the loss of our many people through disease. And we're at the seventh fire. The seventh fire talks about new people ar will arise. And the, the kids that walk, the young people that walk, are those new people. And the prophecy says those new people will show us the way. And when those young people, those new people show us the way, it says that some elders will be sleeping. Some elders will be just old people. Some elders will be scared to speak. Some elders will not be asked. And I think it's really important to realize the prophecy when it says that today those young people are asking us, those of us in the place of responsibility, those of us that are parents, those of us that are leaders, that are pointing the way and say to begin to address that gap, they need support. They want to get quality education so that they can be contributing constructive citizens. So with that, I thank you for being here. I acknowledge all the leaders that are in the room. I acknowledge the traditional homelands of, of the Fort William First Nation. And thank you for the City Council being here. Thank you, Chief, for being here. Thank you to the students that are here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
about take part in this very important endeavor. He would have been happy and proud to do so. He loved this school and he loved this city. All I wish and hope is that, that this dream will become a reality, reality for us, future children and grandchildren. After all, there are our future. Thank you very much for the work to our late son Daniel Levi. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Okay, we have to I'm going to ask Robert and the rest of the other walkers to come up. Wapi Jack, Robert, Barbara, and all the other walkers. It's your turn. I was walking with Lee for a couple of hours, this young lady here, and uh, I had a hard time keeping up. She's walking just very with her purse, and she's walking really fast. So I Sometimes I have to jog just to try to keep up with her. So I give it up again. So I, I dedicated this walk to to Lake Daniel. So uh, I want to thank everybody for your support and prayers. I really, I really appreciate people. Adam, that guy in the back with the long hair. We call it Mexico. Mexican. <laughs> um, 
Okay, first, uh, Darlene Markman, my daughter. She went to school here. And then there's Carrie Ann, I still can't get her name. Sandy Lake, she showed up on a small plane in Round Lake. <laughs> Give her a hand, please. And uh, Barb, Barbara, thank you for thank you for your help, your support. Give her a hand. And uh, Sherman Bickena, Bearskin. And uh, who's next there? Cassandra Cutfield, Muskrata. Tyson Matuabit, Round Lake. That's uh, Lake Daniel's uh, cousin. And uh, Tyler, that's uh, Daniel's younger brother. <laughs> He joined us from uh, Sulacote. Uh, he goes to school in Pelican. And of course, Adam, one and only Adam, nearly must go down. I'm in Sanchez, sorry. <laughs> Mexico. And uh, Jaren, Jaren Barton, Sanchez. I'm going to give them a chance to say something. It's their walk, they walk. So I want to give the mic uh, to them to say something. I thank everybody. I'm glad uh, my mom's here. You know, we lost uh, an aunt a couple days ago. I just found out yesterday when we were walking. They didn't, I just found out on the road. And, you know, I'm blessed with a, a strong mom. She took, uh, she took time to come here even though, you know, she's, She's been through a lot, so and I am blessed to have a mother and a, and a father who are still alive. I thank the Lord for that. <clears throat> DFC has been, for the past seven years, I've been coming around. All my kids went to school here, so they all graduated. And I'm still here. I don't know what's DFC. I just, uh, it feels like uh, I have to do more, or I don't know. <laughs> I, wanna, I don't know, I can't say enough to thank everybody, but it, every one of you, so I want to thank you. All the community members, uh, the communities we went through, it was fun. You know, their hospitality was overwhelming. And uh, Wabagoon First Nation, uh, Wabagoon, uh, Ojibwe, they were really kind to us. They gave us food, they gave us money, they even practically gave us the whole store to shop. The chief is standing there, he tells the walkers, take anything you want. They grab one pop, one chip. <laughs> I said, come on you guys, take the whole store. <laughs> One of them was walking around with a pack of gold. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, darling, do you want to say something? I want to say thank you for the support and uh, hello, everybody. I'm Carrie Ann Goodman. <laughs> um, I didn't really know Daniel, but I know that he had a lot of sunny little friends, and that's who I'm representing. I know all of them couldn't be here, so. Yeah. Thank you, Sunny Lake.
That was Cassandra. Give her a hand, please. Okay, throughout our journey, that's how they were. They were getting emotional. Just every day, I think there wasn't a day that went by without one person mentioning Lebec. So that's how they were throughout uh, our walk. So we just kept going. They encouraged each other. That's what. That's what was, was fun about it, you know, seeing them encourage each other. I even seen one picking up her friend. That was really, that was really inspiring. Here's uh, Tyson. Uh, uh, give, give uh, some recognition and uh, 
acknowledged uh, some of the supporters that, that uh, helped out uh, with this walk and also with the fundraising. Uh, as Robert mentioned and some of the walkers mentioned that they were uh, uh, giving help along the way. So we want to thank some of those uh, communities and organizations. So we have a one first nation, Vatsprat uh, Dam, Viagamara uh, Lake, Mishkigorga Mike, and also the, uh, some of the uh, municipalities, uh, Pink Lake, uh, I know when they run the Pink Lake, uh, the mayor, I forget the mayor's name, an uh, old man, that's all I remember. <laughs> but uh, also in uh, Solicourt and the other uh, places that they traveled, they were uh, given uh, food uh, and accommodations. Uh, so we recognize and acknowledge those. So also the, the organizations that uh, have helped out with the fundraising, uh, Wasa Distance Education, uh, Wendigo First Nations Council, Shibogawa First Nations Council, uh, and the Winter Road crows along the way that made sure that the roads were plowed, uh, plowed when they were uh, walking through uh, Asparad Dam and Round Lake and uh, Wendigo Lake. Uh, Chiefs of Ontario, uh, some individual supporters, uh, Tom Cam, I'm not sure if Tom is here. Tom? Yeah. Uh, Tom, if you can maybe come up and say a few words as well. Uh, I'll ask uh, uh, Tom, who's been one of the very, uh, from the very beginning, he's been uh, one of the supporters for this initiative. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to turn around. Thank you again for coming. We're going to have to turn around. I'm 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 going to have to turn around. I was asked to uh, just uh, make a brief comment to say thank you to the students, the workers that came, that came in. Uh, I like the Mexican myself. Uh, secondary to uh, Mr. Cole there from Sandy. <laughs> I think I'll be um, When we did the first walk um, by, by Sachiko Youth, and then this second walk uh, is, uh, has two teams. One of them is a memorial team, and the second one is the, uh, the new journey, the journey of new beginnings. Uh, as a memorial for me sitting here today and last night, I remembered Peter Bartman from Sasko, the elder, who had a vision and a dream uh, that the uh, students would have a, uh, a nice, safe uh, living uh, home in Thunder Bay. I also remember the late Jack McKay, Jack Paul, uh, Jack Kate, the silver fox from the massacre uh, Saturday. Uh, when he used to MC the uh, last uh, jamboree, he believed in this, in this uh, project. He believed in this, uh, in this dream, and he had a dream, and that's what. Uh, and that's what we have to keep in mind, is that the dreams of our, of our friends that have passed on. And that we see today, a new beginning of youth coming on uh, to start a new, a new beginning. Uh, new people are taking over uh, to make sure this dream never dies in the future. So, I also wanted to mention Jonathan, the principal, who, whose responsibility is to uh, ensure that all the students that are entrusted to him have a house to go home to, that they have clothes, and that they have meals, and that they have a proper education. Uh, for, for their future. He's making a very good future uh, for, for our youth. Robert, 
Berkman, Guyad, when you guys were with Chad Scott and Jim, I support him and I thank him for that. We wish. Big up, Charlie. Big up, Tom. I've been to my wife and stayed with my wife and stayed with my wife and I've been to my wife and I've been to my wife and I've been to my wife. Uh, is uh, Greece uh, my beloved here? Is Greece still here? If you can also come up and make some uh, some some brief comments, and then uh, after Greece, I'll ask uh, Norma to uh, to say some closing comments, and then we'll have the, the closing prayer after that. Uh, there's going to be food that's being delivered uh, as we speak. So uh, all of you that are still here, you're uh, more than welcome to uh, to stay uh, and, and share some some food and, and some stories with the walkers that are here, they'll be here as well uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, have supper with us uh, once we wrap up here. Daniel Beck was my grandson, and I want to thank the walkers um, for dedicating the walk to his memory. I just want to say that I really appreciate Robert Workman and his group that came out and made that walk. And I'm sure that my grandson would have been proud would have been happy to be part of it. And I was just reading up on some of his, um, on his uh, uh, book, his, uh, his book that was given to Myra and Simon. In it, it has 10 commandments of mental health. And one is um, never to give up and to always pursue your dream. And I mean, the other one was uh, that in this life, uh, life is a marathon. Never give up on what you believe in. And uh, there's other, there's other, there's ten commandments in that mental health. And I was just thinking about him because towards the end of his life, he never gave up on what he believed in. And he really believed in his education. He was determined to finish. And he took up sports, and he took up a lot of extracurricular activities in the school. This is where I first met him. When I came here to DFC, this is where I found him, in this gym here. And this is where he was when I said goodbye to him. So I just wanted to say that. and. Uh, I am proud of the walkers. Thank you for the dedication and thank you for the memory. It will live on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you much, Grace. Okay. Kevin, I'm going to give you a good break. I'm going to give you a 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 break. Um, okay, yeah. our uh, head counselor was uh, talking with uh, Grace earlier today. I uh, keep it that uh, North Carolina will be making a, a donation, a financial donation at some point. And, uh, I don't know when that will happen, but it will be coming. So, Robert. Okay, you got to right. Uh, can I have a one more up and uh, make some uh, closing comments? And also, I also want to invite up uh, the two students that were asked to uh, to do a collection here. Uh, while Norma is uh, speaking, we have the uh, uh, the DFC flag, and uh, these two students will be uh, going uh, around the room. Uh, collecting donations to support uh, the efforts of these walkers. So can I have the two students? Uh, Sharon, 
जो कहता कोई ना क्या किन्हों ना क्या नाच मुझे ना क्या उसकी कोट क्या पाम मैं क्या पाम से आगे ना रूम वो कहना था इसलिए आपने बहुत बिग वेब्स वर्सेस दिखे रहे हैं बट इट्स ओके सो आई थिंक 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 � uh to uh to put it into the uh into the into the, the blanket the flag uh while norm is uh, speaking so the funds that uh, uh you all be uh donating uh, will go towards uh the the fund uh to build the student residence that uh, that's being worked on uh, through this uh, walk okay we're going to work to 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 go to the what uh, so I'll turn it over to uh, the executive director of NDC, uh, Norma. Once Norma concludes uh, her remarks, I'll ask one of the elders to uh, sit, say the opening prayer, and then we'll uh, uh, have the food at that time. So most all of you that are here are welcome to to stay uh, and uh, share the food with us. Thank you. I guess I get the top bombs. Tell the tell that flag is filled up. At this time, I'd like to ask uh, NNEC Chairperson uh, Chief Chris Kakagamak to come up and join me as well. But I do want to um, say uh, thank you to uh, Robert, Barb, all of the youth who took the initiative to do this walk again. I know it was a very emotional walk. I had breakfast with the group in Sulacau and uh, I know we shed some tears that morning at breakfast when we talked about Daniel. This morning when I joined them again in Kekebeka Falls, we had one last talk to the group again, and it got emotional again. You know, it's sad that it's 2015, and our students still have to leave the community to go to school, to go to high school. That we're still having to send students from their home community to live in boarding homes, to live in residence at Pelican Falls, that we don't have high schools in our own First Nations so that our students can stay home. But we have a great staff here at NNEC. I need to thank the principal, Jonathan Kakagamek, the teachers that are here, and our Triple SP staff. I don't think people realize what we go through as staff when we're looking after the students that are entrusted into our care. Just last week, we had three missing students in Sulaco. It was a very tough week for me last week. All I keep thinking about is all the students that we've lost here. I don't know how these youth did the last, how the youth did over a thousand kilometers. I think I only walked maybe 18 kilometers with them today. But I had to do the last eight kilometers in memory of the students that we lost here at DFC. It was important for me to do that. When a student goes missing, you don't know what goes through our minds our hearts, and it's very tough. You know, everybody keeps saying the youth are our future, but the youth are not the future, they're now. Look at these youth who took on something that they believe in, the initiative that they started with the help of Robert. And they say they're gonna keep doing this until this resident becomes a reality. We are working on the residence still. We still want to make this a reality for our students. We need to keep our students safe. As you heard our principal say, we're doing intake this week. We have partners that have taken over the student services. So when he talks about 100 students just for NNEC, that's including our Wendigo communities, and our uh, independent communities, Mishkegokmung and Sandy Lake. 
So from the Windigo community, Sandy Lake and Michigan Gogamon, we have over 100 students that are waiting to come to DFC. That it doesn't include our students from KO, Shibukma, and IFNA. And that's the first time that we've had students on a wait list. We're short of boarding homes in the city of Thunder Bay. We're looking at expanding our high school to have the trade school. And with the trade school coming, there's going to be more demand. But the boarding homes are not there. So the residence is a must. We have to get this residence in order to keep our students getting their education. So I know, um, I know we're all getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting sore. I'm starting to stiffen up. But I just want to give the mic to, to uh, to my boss, Chris, and, uh, and let him say a few words. Thank you, Robert, Barb, and the rest of the youth who walk with us. Thank you, Norma. Um, it's it's uh, a real privilege to be here to witness these young men, their accomplishment. On, an, on Easter, Easter Sunday or Easter Monday, in my community, in my own church, we had a prayer walk, and we walked uh, in, in, our, in our reserve. And I know how difficult it was for me to walk in this little, little reserve. And imagine these guys, these, these, uh, these people, how they walked all these miles. Congratulations, thank you, and we appreciate what you have done. And. Uh, and also for the memory of your friend. And uh, I know this is uh, uh, a place where our young people wanted to be. And I'm sure we, we want to make it a better place, and an exciting place. And I'm glad that the stream is still on, and I support it 100%. Supported, uh, and uh, so with that, thank you very much. And let us keep working together for the future of our children. Yeah, God bless you. Okay, we got some more. We got some extra. We got my own energy. We got back to Supermarkano. Kior, Kior First Station, Chris Kagamik. And he's making a donation right now. And the MC Next, that's $50 bills, guys.
Uh, we'll wait uh, for them to uh, to finish.
It's James with Net News Ledger. We're here in Pickle Lake. The Sachigo Lake Walkers have just arrived here. I'm here with Robert Barkman. Robert, would you introduce the Walkers to our audience, please? Sure, sure. This is Sherman Mickinac from Bearskin, Barbara Barkman from Sachigo, Cassandra Cutfeet from Muskrat Dam, Kiri Ann Goodman from uh, Sandy Lake. Adam Beardy from Sachigo, Jaron Barkman from Sachigo, Tyson Madawabit from uh, Round Lake, Riagamau. So you've got a pretty good growing group of... Do you wish you had more choices when it comes to flying to and from your community? Or maybe you have a need for charter services to get a group to an event. Or how about shipping a parcel to a family member or friend? Whatever your air transportation needs, North Star Air is here to serve you. Call 1-844-633-6294 to book your travels with North Star Air. Or book online at northstarair.ca. Hello everyone for uh, helping us. It was a very short of this. We uh, just landed at uh, 1 o'clock. And we uh, hope uh, that you will be a natural ceremony for us. Give him a, a round of applause for uh, Deputy Grand Chief Alwyn Passenjima. Say thank you. Yeah. 